Anyway. So, we've done all of the regular match things. We've seen Classic, we've seen Adventure. I'm not going to go through them with every character. We've seen them once, that's enough. So, now we have other modes here in the one-player mode. We've got Event Match. Event Match is interesting. There are 51 different levels of events. And each one is a unique scenario, basically, that you need to play through. Uh, so here it's, you know, we've, well, number one, we're gonna show real quick. We'll show a couple of them. We're not going through all of them again. Defeat Bowser as Mario in Mushroom. Yeah, this first one, just play as Mario and defeat Bowser in the battlefield. It's a very simple thing. You both got two lives, two stock fight, so very simple. This is like the simplest scenario. Be one character, fight another character. They get a lot more interesting from this point. But, uh, yeah, you start with only 10 uh, event stages unlocked, and you unlock more by clearing a certain amount of previous event stages, and then, like, certain tiers, you need to have certain characters unlocked before you can access them. Just, you know, you, you, you aren't allowed to see the, the characters until you've unlocked them. So yeah, we beat that. We got there. And it's got time high score. You can if you wanted to care about high score on your events. But uh the next the level two one, it's you play as DK and it's a duel of epic proportions. Because you are a giant DK and you're fighting a tiny DK. That's kinda silly. You can slap the ground. That is an extremely powerful move in uh, any of the, like, team fights where you're fighting lots of weak things. You just slap the ground and that will instantly KO any uh, particularly weak thing. He goes a wind-up and you can do a big punch after you wind it up. It didn't launch very far because his damage percent is low. But yeah, you can kind of hear it here, the, the DK rap. It's, there's a lot more in it than the original. Like, Nintendo did a much better job of the DK rap than Rare did. <laughs> Which, uh... Anyway, there's a lot of these. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Again, we're not going to go through all of them, but there's, there's a lot of fun things. Like, bombs everywhere, where there's bombs everywhere, and you fight against, like, Samus and Link, and the only attack they use is bombs. Well, let's check out the stadium. Yeah, stadium. So, you could do the, the targets, uh, the, the smash the targets smash thing. The you targets. can do that outside of the, uh, the classic. You can just play through that with each character without needing to go through the, the classic mode to see. So, let's check out Bowser. Because Bowser's a character in this game. Okay. Now look at these different colors that he's got. You're going to play as Black Bowser, because again... Uh, 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 Edgelord being the trash. Yeah. So, Bowser has some moves. He can hit things. He's, he's got, got claws, and he's got fire that he can breathe fire. That's pretty cool. And he can do the thing where he spins his shell around and that makes him fly? I'm not really sure about that, but, uh... Yeah, I missed one above somewhere. So, uh, I'm gonna have to go back around to be able to come back up. But, uh, it's fine. And you can pause the game and it shows a, a zoomed out view of the whole area so you can see if you're, you don't know where the next thing is. You can see that. Yeah, plan out your strategy for oh, that's right uh, also unlike in classic this does not have a time limit when you play it through uh, through the, the stadium so not gonna show off any more than that we've seen it home run contest this one is interesting you have a sandbag that you need to beat up and then hit as far as you can. So yeah, you've, you've got the sandbag, you need to uh, knock it to a high damage percent, and then you want to hit it with that home run bat to launch as far as possible. As soon as it falls off the platform, that's it. And if, if it's backwards, then you get nothing. Well, yeah, that, uh, Again, there's a lot of weird loading time in this game. You could kind of, you could really see that here, where uh, it takes quite a while to, to get back. 
after uh, after this. It was kind of unexpected. I didn't remember the, the, the load times of this being so bad. We didn't see load times like that in Luigi's Mansion. Well, that's because they were all behind doors. Yeah, but you can always <laughs> skip the doors, is the thing. Anyway, uh, just going to real quick show off actually doing this super good. Because I did this pretty damn well. This is how you really do it. Yeah, like, some characters have really good attacks that you can just kind of do I, not have any kind of knockback to them. I damage no smash. Or, like, all of their knock is directly downwards. So, yeah, that's how, that's how you get a real big one. <laughs> and this unlocks the, the Yoshi's Island from original Smash stage. And, and also a, a, a couple of trophies that are not that important. Multi-man melee. Multi melee. This is, uh, you fight a bunch of polygons. Mm -hmm. So, 10-man melee and 100-man melee, you try to defeat that many polygon enemies. 3-minute and 15-minute, you try to defeat as many as you can within that time limit. Endless, you go as long as you can until you die and you get a high score for however many you kill. Cruel is, uh, they are... They are all, like, high level, and they don't have the, uh, they're not weak like a team enemy is. Uh, so if you want to do 100-man melee, you'd be Donkey Kong. And as I said before, the, uh, the ground pound hit with Donkey Kong is the way to go. So let's, uh, let's just fast forward through all of this. Because it's um, 100 mans. Yeah, as you get further along in this, they will, uh, their AI starts getting better, and they start having less handicap to them, so they start, like, being heavier until the final one is actually, like, just a normal, uh, opponent in, like, their, their weight and how far they launch. Uh, the AI is still not great, so it's, it's, you know, still not that hard to, to fight, but... There's that. And if you beat the 100 man melee, you get a new foe. It's some kind of bird. It's Falco! From Falco Lombardi, the Star Fox team. I'm punching him in the face. And he's gonna hit that bomb. See, he hit the bomb. <laughs> Star Fox's surly pilot Falco is prepped for combat after being thrown into a bomb. Because we click at 100 man melee. So yeah, that's uh, Falco's unlock is 100 man melee. You got a male wireframe trophy. You also get a trophy. And there's also this. So if you clear in adventure mode the first Mushroom Kingdom stage with a 2 in the seconds digit of your time, then this happens. No, Mario, you're not here. It's Luigi time. So then in this fight, you get Luigi instead of Mario. And then uh, at the end of uh, playing through, if you clear that without game overing, then uh, you will unlock Luigi. Or, or you know, Luigi get the, the Luigi unlock battle. Congratulations. And here's a, a different thing for Mario that you see in Adventure. And we get Luigi! And we also get a preview of this... The Mario 2 stage. Yeah! Uh, this stage you unlock by finding the Birdo Trophy? <laughs> Which is another reason why I'm not doing everything in this game, because trophies are random. Like, most of the trophies you can only get through their gachapon thing, which we'll see in uh, the next video. But, um, you know, this is one of the things where you can only unlock this stage by getting this trophy randomly. The man in green Luigi is ready for action. <laughs> 